do you think people look at life like that? Like, oh, if I sit beside this person on the bus, then they'll follow me on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch yours now. Yes, please. I saw this one too. But that's so good. That's how you totally sit by yourself and get all the leg room you want to stretch out. I just love how like his, he was so good doing it. He's such a professional. Yeah. Let's watch that again. Tap, tap. (laughs) The old double tap. I got to try that. Oh, no, I really think I could backfire in most cases. Oh, yeah. (laughs) If you're too inviting, like you think that's okay, you're just a crazy person that wants company, right? Yeah. yeah. But if you're like an older person or you're kind of demented, you'll be like, oh, I definitely want to sit beside someone who wants me to sit there. Don't you want somebody to love? Yeah, yeah. Right? I don't want to sit beside someone who doesn't want company. Right. Because in school, I never got to sit beside anybody. Now it's finally happening to me. I'm getting invited. Right. I'm getting the double chat. Maybe I'll get a new follower on my social media. Yeah. Do you think people look at life like that? Like, oh, if I sit beside this person on the bus, then they'll follow me on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's what I do all the time. That's how I think about my life. <laughs> so the more people I sit beside oh on the bus, I'm like, hey, do you have Instagram? Yeah, I do. Well, add me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have Instagram? Hey, you have Instagram? Hey, you have Instagram? Hey, you have Instagram? <laughs> oh, Maddie, this gets crazier. Because think about that. If your logic is like, if every, okay, I take the bus every day to go to and from work. And if every day I sit beside somebody new, and I strike up a conversation, that's how I'm gonna gain my Instagram followers. <laughs> because most people are like, how do you get more Instagram followers? No one ever tells you that. We'll sit on the bus beside someone new every day. Jesus. Using like real social interaction for, for the benefit of fake social interaction. Hmm, lovely. Like I'm only sitting beside you because I need you to follow me. Yeah, I saw a funny meme the other day. It said, I met you at a party 10 years ago. We talked for two minutes. Let's be friends on Facebook forever. Right, I posted that on our page. Oh, that's how I saw it. The Wizzle Wazzle Facebook page. Because you're good on a bowl. If you follow it, I'll sit beside you on the bus. <laughs> yeah. I think the only way to see the, the only way that guy's plan works is if you're a creep. I saw him do that to me. I'd be like, okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, listen to this. You know how back in the day, people would interrupt baseball games by running on the field naked. You know what that's called? Drinking. Right. Then all of a sudden, someone ran in the middle of the field and they took off their shirt. And you know what it said on the back? They wrote something in like marker or paint on their back. No. It said goldenpalace.com. Oh. And it was an internet casino, I, I, my recollection tells me so. Oh it my serves God. me, right? And then all of a sudden, that was like the first like guerrilla marketing. Like, <laughs> so I was just thinking, like, rip off your shirt in the middle of like an opera. And it just says, like, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. At <laughs> Owen's Wazzle. Right. Oh, God. It just shows you like the, the level, like, how badly we want people to follow us on this platform. Follow me on Instagram. Right. I'm willing to go to jail or take off all my clothes. Yeah, like you'll get a criminal charge like for indecent exposure, indecent (laughs) exposure in like a public setting. Yeah. That's on your record forever. Stay tuned for Mr. Twister.